Hello everybody, um, we thought we'd take a short break from filming um, one of my diary pieces and just do something a bit extra. Um, really because I get asked all the time about my camera setup and um, what I use. So I thought I'd take you through it and um, uh, you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, if you want to learn more, I've put some uh, articles that first appeared in the magazine a couple of years ago and you can find them now on my website. Uh, so go and check them out if you're interested. Um, take you through the sort of hardware, um, starting at the bottom. Central bit of kit really is a nice heavy tripod. Um, a lot of tripods are sold on lightweight, which is fine if you're trekking up a mountain, but uh, having a nice heavy one just gives you so much more stability. You don't have to pay a fortune. This is a Manfrotto one, uh, quite expensive, but you can get a lot cheaper ones. Um, if it is quite a light tripod, the best thing to do is just get a carrier bag or you know a little net bag or a boily drying bag, something like that. Fill it with rocks off the bank or pebbles and just hang it, hang it off the centre uh, column just to give it some extra weight and stability and that will help a bit. Uh, make the whole lot rock solid because you've got a lot of expensive equipment sitting on top of it. Um, recently I've gone over to the new Canon 80D, um, really pleased with it. Um, I'm guessing that a lot of the features I'll talk about on here are pretty much similar on a new 800D which has just been launched as we're doing this and probably the 6D Mark II which has just been announced and will be out in the shops in a few weeks. Um, unfortunately I have to pay for my cameras, I don't get them for, any, for, for free or any discount or anything but I've been using Canons now for a long time and I would say you know go with whichever you, you, you prefer, the brands are all really strong now, there's some great kit out there. ATD's got some nice features on it but then to be fair so is the new 800 um, which is quite a bit cheaper so check it out. If there's any major differences with that to what I'm going to talk about on this, I'll maybe put it uh, as a note to the, to the film. On the front, uh, glass-wise, I'm using a Canon 1740 lens, uh, which is one of the L Professional series. If you're going to spend some more money, I would suggest save a bit of money on the body um, and spend it on the lenses really if that's going to make the biggest difference to your images uh, and the quality. 1740 is relatively cheap for a professional lens, uh, not that cheap but it's, um, it's a really good lens and it's nice and flexible, ideal for kind of fishing stuff really. It's, I use it for probably 80% of my photography. On the top, uh, Canon flash, uh, again quite an expensive bit of kit. Uh, you can get some aftermarket sort of Far Eastern brands that, to be honest, they look identical to me. Um, they've got all the same functionality for about a third of the price. So if, if you're not a camera tart, then maybe check out some of those because they, they're a good, good kit and they'll do exactly what you want. Uh, you don't have to so you have the, have the, the major brand names. A um, couple of things that have come on the cameras in the last couple of years that are really, really useful for sort of self-takes for fishing. Uh, the articulating screens. Um, are brilliant. Being able to turn that screen around and see what you're taking the pictures of and, and rearranging it slightly um, is so so useful if you're doing self takes. Fantastic, really love it. Um, and the the other thing that Canon have introduced on the 80D, and I'm guessing it will probably be standard on a lot of the other ones now, is an in, inbuilt interval timer or involometer. Um, that means that I can set the camera up to take shots at a predetermined um, spacing apart, so five seconds or ten seconds, and as many shots as I like. So what I tend to do with that is there's a little quirk on here. I found if you set it to less than eight seconds, it doesn't give time to process the image and for it to turn up on the display. So I set it to ten seconds normally, and then I set it to maybe you know, 12 shots, so 12 times 10. 120 seconds, two minutes. I don't want the fish out of the water any longer than that, really. And if you can't get a decent shot out of 12, then you know what you're doing. Um, but that's brilliant because you can set that off and um, it refocuses um, between shots as well. So you, you don't have to pre focus it. You can just get the, the picture lined up, get yourself in position behind your unhooking mat or cradle, um, and off it goes. The first couple you're going to miss because you get yourself in position, but then you can check, make sure everything's all right, pick the fish up, and you've probably still got seven or eight shots to go um, before, the interval, uh, before the interval timer runs out. 
Um, so that's it. That's the basic kind of setup. As you can see, cradle behind me. I do like the cradles for bigger fish, um, if I'm on my own in particular, just because they're lifted off the ground. They can't really go anywhere. You can put the cover over it and it just gives you the fish a lot more security um, if, you, if you're trying to do self-takes on your own. If there's two of you, it's not such a problem. But yeah, have everything ready. I've got a landing net uh, on a bank stick um, in the water so I can rest the fish, get everything set up and ready before I get the fish out of the water. Um, and that's about it. So in part two, what I'll do is I'll look at some of the camera settings.